Breaking news coming out of Washington, D.C. The millionaire elite there have decided to slap Americans right in the face. <laughs> and really hard this time. Yes, you're going to get $600 in round two. No, I'm not making this up. No. We're talking about some of the richest men in America. They hang out over there in Washington, D.C. They have these high gates. They go to cocktail parties. I think they have like $666 million in Swiss bank accounts. And, well, after they've shut the economy down and they've destroyed the economy, they, you've lost your job, you basically don't know where your next meal's coming from, you cannot pay your rent, you cannot pay your mortgage, the whole damn kit and caboodle is just done, put a fork in it, but these guys, remember, they have Swiss bank accounts that we don't even know about. They have $666 million in hidden Swiss bank accounts, but they've been waiting. They've been waiting for this moment. And now that you are down on your hands and knees, you are literally begging them, you are on your hands and knees, they are going to give you peasants $600. Please, don't spend it all at once, okay? If your landlord is asking for nine months back payment, I mean, please, try to stretch that $600 out. This is nothing but a slap in the face. I tell you, I, I can't even talk anymore. This slap in the face is so hard that, that my ears are ringing now. My, yeah, my jaw, oh, my jaw's a little sore, and I got that ringing noise in my ear. And we got played, didn't we? Donald Trump, look at these numbers. Donald Trump brings his friends in. Wilbur Ross, $2.5 billion, 5.1 billion. They don't have enough lifetimes to spend this money. They literally don't have, if they live 660 lives, they don't have enough money to spend $5 billion. And yet, they've been haggling and arguing, arguing, arguing. <laughs> Over how much are we going to give the peasants, the unwashed masses? I think $600 is fine. What do you think, Betsy? Yeah, $600 should get them a... Don't spend it all in one place there, peasants. $600, yes. Did I say that this was a slap in the face? Because if your ears are not ringing now and your jaw's not sore, then you must be on some serious pain pills. You've lost everything. You've lost your job. You probably lost your family. And they're going to give you $600. Think about this. Yeah, Mitch McConnell, the richest senator in the U.S. Senate. And the people who voted for him are the poorest people in America. How long are the American people going to say that's stupid? The poor people voting for people like Donald Trump and Mitch McConnell. These are rich bastards that don't care about you. Look at this. I almost forgot. After nine months, I get to buy some kiwi. Literally, nine months. This was like the Donald Trump's last screw you, bravo. <laughs> Donald Trump made the phone call to the IRS. I want that $1,200 check held out to the last moment. Bravo's an asshole. Seriously. One day after I made, I, I, I made that video... Nine months and counting. I waited nine months. And the day after I made that video, the IRS, Gestapo, decided to send me $1,200. Le better late than never, I guess. Nine months. And if the, if the Rona got you, maybe they were waiting for the Rona to get me because then they'd have to have a check mark there. If he's deceased by the Rona, please send his check back. Now I know what they were doing. They were waiting for the Rona to get me. And then they were going to send. And then they have to send. Then they wouldn't have to spend the twelve hundred. We really don't want to spend this twelve hundred on you, Bravo. Um, uh, please just kick the bucket and catch the Rona and get the hell out of here, Bravo. What the hell's wrong with you? We don't have twelve hundred dollars to spend on your ass, let alone. Okay, now you want six hundred more. What are you going to do with that six hundred dollars? The economic impact, finally. If this person is deceased, check here and drop in the mailbox. If recipient is deceased, check here. Woo doggy, I get some kiwi. I get to buy some kiwi. Woo doggy. <laughs>